Kick hitters from across the state rallied at the State House in Indianapolis today to show support for public schools and public school students. News 18's Meredith Hackler is there now. Meredith, what message are educators trying to send to lawmakers? Jeff, while there weren't thousands of educators here at the Capitol like there were back in November, their message to lawmakers was similar. They don't want promises from the governor. They want action when it comes to teachers' pay. Now, this rally was hosted by the Indiana Coalition for Public Education. Now, they discussed several topics during the rally. While teachers' pay was a topic of discussion, so was the Hold Harmless Bill, which would not hold teachers or schools responsible for low I Learn test scores. The Hold Harmless has been signed by the governor, but it's not a permanent solution. Educators say they still would like to see standardized testing separated from accountability permanently. On the long term, we'd really like to see um, testing decoupled from teacher evaluations forever. We'd like to see that schools don't get punished for testing uh, going forward. Tests are great diagnostics, but they weren't meant to be punishment. Another topic of discussion was charter schools. Public education advocates feel that charter and voucher schools aren't held to the same standard as public schools. They're asking for more accountability for charters and vouchers, and they also want there to be a hold on approving any more charter schools or vouchers in the state until they can prove that they are improving education for children. Now, one main takeaway from this rally is that public educators just want to be valued. They want lawmakers to acknowledge how valuable they are to the education system in Indiana. Now, according to the Indiana Coalition of Public Schools, they say that nine out of 10 students attend a public school in Indiana. They want legislators to acknowledge that number and make it a priority to fund public education. Live at the Capitol, Meredith Hackler, News 18. Meredith, thank you very much. Well, new